Rick Adelman was a tremendous player here at LMU and nationally known for his ability to score points, uh, be a consummate teammate, and also is positionally defensively. I know not many people will say that, but uh, he was good there as well. Uh, he and his brother, Cleet Adelman, were very, very special, indelible players here at LMU. And also is his ability to pass the basketball. He knew when to shoot and when to pass, and that's rare for a high scorer like Rick. He was a good student, and he also was a fantastic player. And he got the mission statement of the school and being a servant in the community and what he did with his community services represent. He's represented his entire career as a coach. He's a Hall of Fame coach eventually, in my opinion, and uh, has represented this university just by saying, do you remember when Rick and Cleet Adelman played here? It was a very special time in the early 60s, and uh, obviously they did quite well. And uh, for LMU to have that as part of their treasure chest is very, very special. Rick Adelman has shared with many his coaching acumen, not only by his knowledge, but how to act during the game. I don't think there's a more reticent guy when it should be emotional and a bad call or something like that. I just thought that he was the paradigm of how to act as a coach on the sideline. And I th think that your actions speak for you and also is, is that if you want your players to be under control, then you need to represent that. And I don't think anybody on that sideline in the NBA did it better than Rick Allen. On behalf of Loyola Marymount University, I'm proud to have Rick Adelman inducted into the Hall of Honor in this 2015 class. Couldn't happen to a better person. Thank you, uh, everyone. I've, I've rewritten this thing since everybody's been talking uh, a couple of times. So. Um, I want to thank the West Coast Conference, LMU, uh, Bill Husek for nominating me in this position. It's, uh, it's really an honor. Uh, it's kind of hard because it's a long time ago. They asked me to talk about my experiences as Loyola. Well, it was a long time ago, but it's brought back a lot of memories. Seeing Bud here, and he said a lot of kind words because they kicked our tails every time we played them. <laughs> Um, and we had some battles, uh, but they always came out on top. Um, it was a, when I was in the conference, it was a lot different. Uh, we had LMU, Pepperdine, St. Mary's, Santa Clara, USF, Pacific, and then Santa Barbara and San Jose State. Uh, so it's changed a little bit since then. Um, the NCAA tournament has changed a lot since then. And I know uh, the team Bud was on deserved to be in the tournament, but you had to win your conference to get in the tournament. So a lot of teams were left out. And uh, I know my senior year, we had a good team and uh, should have had a chance to go there. But uh, back then, there was five teams in the Western Regional, or I should say UCLA's Regional. <laughs> and uh, so no one got a chance to do very much because you're always playing against them. And, uh, but it still, it still was an honor to see teams like Pacific when I was, first got to the college, and then Santa Clara represented, and now to see what Gonzaga has done the last few years. It's really been great to watch the conference grow. Um, I had a great experience at Loyola. It was, uh, it was Loyola when I was there. Marymount came later. Uh, but uh, it was a great school, great experiences. Um, when I first went to Loyola, that was the only really, I shouldn't say this, but the only school that offered me a scholarship. Um, and I was on a very good high school team, but I got the chance to go there. My brother Cleek played before me, and my brother Frank went there also. And uh, so three of us went through the Loyola Marymount. And uh, I thought they were going to really rise me up because I, this is a story I, I still remember. I was a senior, and uh, Coach Arndt, who I want to thank him, he said, you know, you, Sports Illustrated is coming out to interview you. I said, really? And he says, yeah. He says, they have a kid in, I think it was Boston College, Steve Edelman, and you at Loyola, at Loyola and they want to 
write a story about you two guys. So great, so the guy shows up and um, didn't do a lot of research because the story was about two Jewish kids playing on opposite coast at Catholic schools. So the, that, it kind of ended things when I had to tell him, well, I'm actually Catholic and my name is Adelman. And he, got, he left, got on the plane and left. So I never really got that story. But it, you know, it was fun thinking about it. Uh, the, experience, the experience I had at Loyal, though, you know, you could, I, I think you could classify it in three different areas. Basketball, obviously, and I've been I coach in the NBA, uh, luckily, for 30 years. And um, I've watched things change so much since, uh, since back when I played. Um, basketball is basketball. And I really feel if you're, if you're good enough, people are going to find you. And I think a lot of kids nowadays, and I think it's an influence, and people may not like it, of the AAU system and everything, has changed completely. The players have changed completely. Uh, they have entourages, posses, uh, people around them, which really affect the thinking and what's going on. But I found that Loyola, you know, it gave me a basketball experience that, that I would never um, forgive or look at. I couldn't believe that I was able to do the things that Loyola I was done. I went to the Olympics tryouts, which I never expected to do. I got drafted in the NBA and played seven years somehow. Um, but that gave me the, the outlook. I also had at Loyola the education. You know, uh, there's two teachers, Dr. Trujillo and Father Donahue. Uh, thank them forever for getting me through the school and uh, giving me an opportunity to get a master's at Loyola, which gave me an opportunity to get a career coaching because that teaching and masters, it all went together and everything just kind of went on when my life went that way. Um, but I think the college experience also, I mean, that's something you just can't, you really can't uh, explain to young people what it's like to go four years at the institution and the friends you make, the people you remember. And I think that's kind of lost nowadays uh, in college, and that's why I love this conference. And being here is the first time I had a chance to come to the tournament because I was always working myself. But this is a great tournament. Great, you know, it's just a great atmosphere. All the colleges here. And I think that's, that's what's all part about makes this conference so special because the schools are all the same. You know, the, the student athletes get this experience, the basketball experience, the education experience, and just being through the whole college experience. And you're losing that with a lot of kids now. They talk about the major conferences. You don't have that. I mean, it's just kids are coming in, they want to play one year and go to the pros, or go to Europe, or go somewhere and play. Unfortunately, they don't realize that, you know, that's going to last five, six, seven, maybe ten years, and it's over with. And I think they lose that experience they, they, that this conference gives you and the schools in this conference gives you, and I think that's really special. Um, so I'm really honored to have this award. Um, I thanked, like I said, all the people at Loyola for putting me up. I said, I should say Loyola Marymount. I keep saying Loyola. Uh, but I think it's just a real honor, and I'm glad I finally had the opportunity to come here and see this tournament. I also want to congratulate the other uh, people here that got their awards. I think it's an honor for all of us. Uh, I know Jim Brelli a long time. Jim Sollers uh, coached my daughter at the University of Portland. So I have stories about Jim, but I didn't tell. Uh, but all the people here, it's just a, a special honor being there, and I, I just uh, want to thank you again. Thank you.